Welcome back to a special Gross Anatomy edition of The Doctors. The jury's out about whether all parasites are bad for you, but if you don't want a disgusting intruder taking up residence in your body, listen to some advice if you have pets. Hey Troy, uh, it's Dr. Rodriguez. How are you doing? Good, how are you Dr. Rodriguez? Great, what can I do for you? Well I actually just bought a new puppy from the mall and they told me that it has roundworms. And I had heard that roundworms can be passed on to humans, so I was just wondering what exactly are roundworms and how can I prevent from getting them? Yeah, good question. Let me tell you, a roundworm is just like it's described. You know, it, it almost looks like a straw. Um, in my years of practicing, I've only seen a couple of them, and in the colon, they actually look like a wiggly straw. They can be from an inch to, to a yard long. What happens is this, dogs and cats have them, and they usually release some of the eggs or the larva of the roundworms with their stools. It's not the worm that you might ingest, but small little eggs or larva that are so small you may not even see it. And over the next few weeks, those little eggs grow into roundworms. So the thing to look for as far as symptoms is most people that have roundworms are going to have abdominal pain, you know, belly pain. Uh, there may be blood in the stool and sometimes you may even see a worm come out in the stool. Uh, so you really, really gotta look for that if you have a dog that had roundworms. Now you're gonna take the dog to be uh, rid of the roundworms, right? Because that's the main thing you need to do. Yeah, absolutely. There really isn't a lot to be worried about because these things don't kill. They can be treated with the correct medication. All right? Great, thank you so much, Dr. Richard. All right, enjoy the puppy. Thank you. All right, bye.